When the settings are correct, the leftmost yellow signal light will be on when photocell is aligned with the eye mark and will go out when aligned with the background color. Let's take an example of the packaging film with transparent background and black eye mark. Make continuous back spot test. It is clear to see that the eye mark stop at the same position every time. When replace the film with other big difference color, needs to find the matching optical fiber power and signal trigger value. Under the previous parameters, no matter the photo cell is passing the white background or passing the blue eye mark, the fiber value does not change. Now we need to lower the optical fiber power by one gear to see if the optical fiber signal has any change. When the power is 4 gears, the sensor value changed when passing the white background proves that this fiber power is work. Now, save the setting and return to the running interface. Now, align the MR with the photo cell. Can see that the optical fiber signal value is changing between 700 and 850. It is known that when the optical fiber signal is less than 820, there must be an mark passing through the photo cell. At this time, the green trigger signal value should be set to add 100 to 200 to the maximum eye mark sensing value. We can set the green trigger signal value to 1000 as round. After finished the setting, we manually test whether the set value is valid. The leftmost yellow signal light will light up when the photo cell is passing the eye mark, and it will turn off when the photo cell is passing the background color. Then make continuous empty bags to test the bag effects to see if the lens and printing position of each bag are the same. The advantage of using this solution is that even if there is some noise or small text pattern interference between the eye marks, our packaging machine can still track the eye mark. The customers can have more choices when designing the contents of the packaging film and with higher fault tolerance.